Stratified Random Sampling Stratified sampling is where the population is divided into strata, or subgroups, and a random sample is taken from each subgroup. A subgroup is a natural set of items. Subgroups might be based on company size, gender, or occupation, to name but a few. Stratified sampling is often used where there is a great deal of variation within a population. Its purpose is to ensure that every stratum is adequately represented. Akoff, 1953. First, total population are divided into homogeneous groups in case of stratified random sampling and those homogeneous groups are called as strata. For each group, samples are selected for example the strata of passes students, the strata of failed students, the strata of expelled students. It is appropriate when you want to ensure that specific characteristics are proportionally represented in the sample. First, you split your population into strata and then randomly select from each of these. Process Defining the population Choosing the relevant stratification Listing the population according to chosen stratification Choose you sample size Calculate proportionate stratification. Use a simple random sampling method to select sample from each stratum. Proportionate stratified random sampling. Here, the same percentage of items is selected from each stratum. The sample size of each stratum is proportional to its population. The total of the samples from all groups forms the total sample size of the whole population. Example. If you have four strata with 500, 1000, 1500, 2000 respectively and research organization selects one half as a sampling fraction, a researcher must select 250, 500, 750, 1000 members from respective stratum. Disproportionate stratified sampling. Here. The size of each stratum is not proportional to its population size. The researcher doesn't take the samples in the same ratio from each group under this random sampling technique. Thus, the sample selection may not be equitable in this case. For instance, the researcher can select the same number of items from each stratum irrespective of the group size. Example, each stratum will have a different sampling fraction i.e. One half for 500 equals 250, one third for 1000 equals 333, one fourth for 1500 equals 375, one fifth for 2000 equals 400. Advantages of stratified sampling. It can provide greater precision than a simple random sampling. Because it provides greater precision, a stratified sample often requires a smaller sample which saves the money. Ensure the high degree of representativeness. Disadvantages of stratified sampling. Time consuming. When the size of different strata is unequal attainment of correct proportion becomes difficult. Lack of accurate information on proportion of population in each category and faulty classification may be listed as some other disadvantages.